Are you wanting to improve the relationship you have you, yourself so you can increase your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your self-trust? Well, today I'm going to share my top three benefits that I found breathwork has given me in all of these areas. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra special point for you then as well. Now, before getting into breath work, um, and I'll talk about what it is a little bit, I've done a lot of mindset work in the personal growth world and things like uh, lots of Tony Robbins seminars, lots of reading books, all these kind of things. And it's great, right? It makes you think in a different way. You surround yourself with the right people. Absolutely incredible. I've done a bit of therapy, really helpful, getting some of those challenges out from my head uh, from someone and coaching likewise. And these things are all great and absolutely recommend doing all of these. And I'm always going to do these things. What I found though, was when I start to do breath work, it allowed me to connect with me on a much deeper level. And I've recently started to introduce some more guests into my podcast, talking about this, talking about somatic work, which is basically going into your body and feeling through your body rather than just from this cognitive high level approach that we're thinking. And what breath work allows to do is actually allows us to change our nervous system, how we're feeling, our state, but also unlock maybe some of these stored away emotions. And I want to talk about the benefits for it. Now ask yourself this. Are you perhaps going around a little bit of a circle and like you try a little bit of positive thinking or you try one or two things for a little bit? Yet you find your relationship with yourself is not so good. You don't trust yourself. Your self-esteem is not so good or your confidence is so good. Well, I've certainly been uh, guilty of getting caught in that loop so many times. So that's why I wanted to talk about the benefits of breath work that I've personally experienced. Now, the first one is what breath work does when you breathe in, it can find certain areas of your body which actually lead to a memory. So maybe there was a traumatic event and you stored a lot of that trauma in maybe your shoulders. Actually, breath work allows you to go into the subconscious mind and then start seeing actually maybe somebody store, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a hugely traumatic thing, it can be, but maybe it was like you got shouted out at school or someone humiliated you and actually that's stored there and when you can start seeing these things you can start seeing why certain beliefs are being caused in your mind like why maybe you feel like you're not good enough or perhaps that why you don't trust yourself because someone else shouted at you and what actually some of the breath work does it is it unveils some more memories and certain experiences that maybe you've forgotten about the second one is it actually allows you to release some of those. Now it'll come for me, it usually comes in the form of shouting or screaming and then or crying. Or, but if it's the first two, it's usually followed by crying. And what that does, it's quite healing because when you start crying, it allows you to get more into the parasympathetic system, which actually calms you down. Now, actually, when you release some of these negative emotions, that's going to make you feel calmer, more connected with you. So that's the second benefit I found from uh, breathwork. And then the third one is when you do things like box breathing. And there's, I, if you reach out to me, I can certainly give you some more resources and links on breathwork. I recommend checking out somatic breathwork on Instagram for one. But doing some box breathing when you breathe in for four seconds in the nose and then hold for four seconds and then breathe out for four seconds and then hold for four seconds that calms the nervous system down and that makes you more calmer and more connected more present more aware and more connected with yourself as a result from doing that okay so those are three benefits i found that have allowed me to connect with me through breath work so yeah being able to see things memories and actually see why certain beliefs may be formed uh negatively about me being able to release some of these negative emotions uh through the body through like crying in different ways sometimes screaming into a pillow and then actually the third one being able to calm myself down through certain breathing techniques as well so the bonus one I want to say is when you do some breath work, a really beneficial practice is to start journaling afterwards because you can start coming up with some of the insights, some of the thoughts that have actually come up as a result from that. And therefore, you're able to reflect on it and you're able to connect with yourself 
even more by getting it down onto paper out of your body and out of your mind onto paper. So that for therefore is going to allow you to connect with you more. So that's what I've got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. You're improving other people's lives by being the best you. And remember, you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence.